Okay, now come to the resistive network analysis, right? We have uh, two important theory for analysis, which are the nodal analysis, nodal analysis, and mesh analysis. Okay, nodal analysis and mesh analysis. And this slide, uh, I use chapter 3 of our left friend book right, for the main contents. Okay, I will start at 3.2 section, the section 3.2, which is the nodal analysis or node voltage method. Node voltage method, or we can call nodal analysis. So what is the node? The node is the connect part of different uh, equipment, right? Of the plant, like this. This is the node, right? The node. So why node voltage? What we can uh, establish the equation at this node. We can form the equation at this node. We can form by KCL, right? For the node, we can form KCL, which is the current laws, Kirchhoff current laws. We will use the current law, but we will find out the voltage of the node, VK. We will form the current law in the voltage form, right? We will make the equation of current in voltage form okay and for the mesh current what is made current what is made mesh is the closed loop of uh, the circuit right like this right so what we can uh, form the equation with mesh is kvl right kvl but we will form kvl in the term of current i in term of current yeah. so we form current law with voltage we will form voltage law with current right in the nodal analysis and mesh analysis okay let's see one by one so i start with node voltage analysis method so to do the node voltage analysis, I mean we solve for uh, the unknown variable in the circuit, right? So for example, if we connect the circuit like this, what will be the voltage here, or what is the current here, right? That we would like to know what happened to the circuit. What is the voltage here? What is the current here? And what is the current here? For example. So we will do some analysis, right? We solve the circuit. We can use many methods. But the node voltage analysis method is, is one of the methods. Uh, any circuit we can use nodal voltage analysis or we can use mesh analysis as well. If the, if the problem is not a uh, request you to do for the method, you can use any method. You can use any method. Okay. But uh, in case of the the question or the problem command you to use uh, the nodal voltage node voltage method you need to use node voltage method right you cannot decide by yourself okay so how to do node voltage analysis method first you select the left frame node what is the left frame node the left frame node is usually the ground node okay if the circuit have ground you use this at the left frame yeah. For example, no C, no C will be left friend. If there is no ground, you can select any node. But uh, for most uh, convenient of calculation, you you should select the node with uh, a lot of branch, with the maximum number of branch connect to the node. For example, no C, no C, you have three branch connect uh, to node C, and you have two branch connect to node B and three band to node A. So in this case, we can use node C. Oh, okay, here. And after uh, we make a left friend, that node will be 
zero voltage okay and then any voltage so we see is zero so any voltage in the circuit is mean that that the voltage of that node comparing to the left foreign node right va if we say va mean va compared to vc vb if we say vb it's mean that vb comparing to vc as a left foreign so we will have n minus one node right what is n minus one uh, before we make a reference, we have n node, right? n node. For example, in this case, we have three node, right? Before we make a reference, we have three node. After we make uh, node C as a reference, so we will have we left only node A and node B to uh, make an analysis, right? To find out how much the voltage of A and B. So if we know the voltage of VA, so we know that the voltage across R1 is VA minus VC or VA minus zero, right? So we know that uh, uh, how much the voltage across R1, for example. And after we know VE and VB, we will know uh, other parameter for example we get iab right iab would be va minus vb iab will be va minus vb divided by r2 right for example and we will get i iao right for example iac right? iac so iac would be iac is VA minus VC in this case we see already uh, a, a left friend so we see is zero divided by R1 like this so this is IAC so if we know VA and VB we will know uh, other uh, variable unknown variable in the circuit we, we can get all the current in this circuit right for example we also can get this I b c or i b zero right here yeah. <coughs> so then after we make a reference we define the remaining n minus one node voltage at the independent variable each of the m voltage source in the circuit is associated with dependent variable here yeah. okay if a node is not connected to a voltage source then its voltage is treated at independent variable if this is a voltage source for example if this is voltage source plus minus uh, 3 volt we will know VA 3 volt right is T volt we know v, VA is known it's a known value okay but if it's not this is just an unknown right VA and VB here yeah, right and then we apply KCL at each node Okay, label that as an independent variable. We will get the uh, number of equation n minus one equation, right? If there is no voltage source in the circuit, we will have n minus one node, and we can uh, we can arrange uh, n minus one KCL equation. N minus one KCL equation. Then we solve n minus one equation for n minus one unknown, right? Unknown. So we have n minus one equation for n minus one unknown. So after we solve that equation, uh, we will get VA will be the voltage of the node. Okay. All voltage at the node. Okay. Uh, let's see this example. Find all node voltage and branch current. So to find out the node voltage and branch current, so we have this node. Node 1, we have node 2, right? And we make this node as a reference. So this is 0 volt, and this is uh, could be V1 and V2. Okay, if we uh, we get V1 and V2, we will get uh, the current value, okay. And in this case, IA, I1, okay, I1 is 10 milliamp, yeah, 10 milliamp. I2 is 50 milliamp, okay. 
and then we know all the resistance in the circuit right and we have r1 is 1k ohm r2 is 2k ohm r3 is 10k ohm r4 is 2k ohm okay yeah so then we arrange kcl we apply kcl here and here kcl kcl at node 1 kcl at node 2 right yeah kcl at node 1 this is a node and this is a node uh, what happened if you uh, apply kcl to node 1 so let's see Uh, and this current is 10 milliamp this is i1 i1 okay i recommend you to try to understand uh, as much as possible and this is uh, very important if you understand it's uh, it's very easy to you for uh, the next part okay for this slide it's not very difficult so just try to catch the concept okay and uh, if I say that the current flow into the node is positive and then yeah, I just say this is the current flow out from the node is negative right flow out from the node flow out from we don't know in fact we don't know but uh, what we can write down is the current flow through R3 is V1 minus V2 right V1 minus V2 divided by r3 right this is v1 minus v2 divided by r3 here yeah. okay so i can form uh, the equation as i1 which is 10 milliamp here yeah. uh, minus v1 minus v2 divided by r3 just like this right and this current what is this current this current would be minus because the arrow is flowing out right flow out from the node and what is this current this current is v1 minus v2 right because the current flow from the higher voltage to the lower voltage yeah right this direction we uh, we assume this like direction as a positive in fact we don't know we don't know how much v1 and how much v2 we don't know and then we this is would be v1 minus v2 divided by r2 right and then uh, what is this current and this would be minus v1 minus 0 right v1 minus 0 by r1 v1 by r1 and equal to 0 and then this is the first equation right and we can do the same thing with node 2 right with node 2 and with node 2 so i2 flowing out flow out flow in flow in right you, uh, we can assume any uh, direction first any direction first is up to you because uh, uh, when you saw uh, for when you get the the answer the sign of the answer will tell you that uh, the direction you we assume at first is correct or not right if you get the value uh, in negative this means that in fact the current will flow in the opposite way right in opposite direction okay anyway I will use the direction same as the textbook right so this is post uh, flow in maybe flow in positive maybe positive positive and this is negative this is negative right so what is the current flow to r1 to r1 here right yeah so we get uh, v1 minus v2 divided by r3 right plus right plus v1 minus v2 divided by r2 like this 
here, right? And what is uh, the current flow from uh, uh, from node two to zero pass R four? This is the current flowing out, so get negative sign, right? Minus uh, V two, right? V two divided by R four by R four, and then this is I two. We know the I two because it's current source. We know the this value, right? Minus I two. I two is fifty milliamp. We know that equal to zero this is the second equation so let's see these two equation after we arrange the equation so this circuit have three nodes and we make one left frame node we left two node to solve okay so we have two unknown value the unknown value is v1 and v2 right and so so in this case we know i1 right we know i1 and we know R3, right? R3, what is R3? Yeah, R3, we only know. We know R2. We also know R2. And we know R1. Okay. And the second equation, we know R3, we know R2, and R4, and we also know I2. Also. So we know all variable except V1 and V2. And then we have two equations with two unknowns. So can you solve this equation? Can you solve this type of equation? So don't say no, right? <laughs> you need to say yes because it is two equation with two unknown. It's really easy, right? It's a uh, linear equation, right? You just uh, try to solve for uh, v1 and v2, right? <laughs> And this is the answer. So please check it by yourself. Please. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Any question? Okay, just rearrange, uh, just substitute the known value and rearrange the equation. You may need to maybe multiply some value for the whole equation, right? For example, uh, I'll make some example. Uh, for example, equation one. Uh, for example, equation and you will get 10 milliamp. Be careful, 10 milliamp means 10 multiply with 10 power minus 3, right? This is 10 milliamp minus V1 and V2, V1 minus V2 divided by R3 is 10 kilo ohm. Be careful, 10 multiply with 10 power 3 minus V, V1. V1 minus V2 divided by R2 is 2 multiply 10 power 3 minus V1 divided by R1 1 right multiply 10 power 3 equal to 0 so you may uh, multiply the whole equation with 10 power 3, right? And then you get... So any method you can use. It depends on your uh, mathematics background, right? Uh, maybe you can do different way. And then you get 10 from this equation. You get 10 minus v1 minus v2 by 10 v1 minus v2 by 2 right minus v1 equal to 0 just try to rearrange the equation right and then i may multiply 10 to the whole equation then i will get 100 minus v1 
plus v2 minus phi v1 plus phi v2 minus 10 v1 equal to 0 and then v1 here yeah. right and then 100 v1 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 how many v1 uh, 16 right 1 6 right 1 6 v1 how many v2 uh, 16 uh, 6 uh, 6 plus 6 v2 equal to 0 for example so please check if uh, may I may make some mistake. You just it's just easy equation, right? But you need to do it maybe uh, slowly. And this is the equation. Hey, the answer. Sorry, this is the answer. Okay, I think you can do it with this uh, example. Okay. Uh, now come to uh, another nodal analysis another one uh, example uh, so uh, example 3 point T write the nodal equation write the nodal equation and so for the node voltage here right so in this case this would be left frame node right left frame node zero volt and this is uh, this would be V1 or VA, they, uh, they use VA, and then VB, yeah, and this would be VB, okay. okay. And this is the current, uh, I1, I2, I3, and I4, okay. I1, I2. And we know all variable, right? We know I A of the current source, IB of the current source and we know all the resistance of the circuit here right okay and then first equation we uh, apply kcl to node a right to node a you get ia in this the uh, injected direction okay ia minus this current i1 right i1 would be va by r1 right va va by r1 would be ia and then va minus vb by r2 here divided by r2 is zero this is first equation and then uh, the second node kcl equation would be uh, va minus vb by r2 right yeah i2 this means I2. This is I2, right? I2. And IB in this direction, right? In this direction is positive, right? And I plus IB. And I3 and I4 in the negative direction. So it's IB, VB divided by R3. And VB divided by R4, like this. Yeah. And we know. IA we know that we know RA we know R2 we know R2 we know IB R3 and R4 we leave VA and VB to solve for right and if we substitute the value in the equation we get this equation okay just substitute IA by 1 milliamp right 1 milliamp is here 1 milliamp and IB is 2 milliamp, 2 milliamp, right? And then RA, uh, uh, R1, sorry, R1, R1 is 1K, right? Yeah, R1, 1K. R2 is uh, 500 ohm, like this. And then you rearrange this equation, right? Just rearrange this equation, you get this two equation. Okay, this two equation. Uh, you can uh, write out in this form. It's easier to solve, right? To solve in this form. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the answer is VA is 1.667 and VB is 2 volt, right? 
six six seven and will be as two volt. Yeah. This is the answer of this circuit, right? After we get VA and VB, we can solve for IA, I2, I3, I4, right? Very easy because uh, using Ohm law, right? Ohm laws to get uh, the current of each branch. Okay, this is the nodal analysis and this is uh, uh, just follow the the, uh, the instruction, right? <laughs> we just follow the instruction of nodal analysis, right? First, we select the reference node and then we form KCL in the term of voltage at the node, right? We form KCL in the term of unknown voltage at the node, right? Or the branch. So be careful you consider all branch connected to the node, right? When you do that. Okay. So uh, if you practice some exercise, this will help you to do this type of calculation okay uh, it's better than just look into the example if you just look to the example when you start uh, do it by yourself it will uh, very very different uh, feeling okay so i suggest you to do the exercise or to close the uh, the solution for example you just pick up this value right pick up the circuit and the known value and so by yourself right do not look to the solution okay okay now come to the node analysis with voltage source it's become more complex if the circuit have voltage source the node analysis method become more complex okay so if the circuit have current source only current source this is easy to easier to solve this circuit by nodal analysis right by node analysis because we know the current of some branch already so this will be easy right because we know this current of some branch and but in case of the voltage source inside the circuit is maybe some uh, further uh, uh, further task needs to be done in your analysis okay so how to do the node analysis with voltage source similarly first we select the left front node okay we select the left front node and make it zero voltage also and we define the remain n minus one node voltage as independent okay but we know this voltage right in this case we will know VA no VA but we don't know the current flow but we can calculate the current flow to in this branch from VA for example the current flow in this direction is VA minus VB divided by R1 but VA is the known value right? known which is VS is equal to VS minus VB divided by R1 okay this known value this is become unknown still become unknown so we solve for VB and we see in this case so it's uh, a bit complex but we, uh, we need to uh, classify the known and unknown value carefully okay and we apply KCL at each node similar to the uh, common practice of nodal analysis okay okay for example this uh, this circuit so we can form uh, KCL at node B yeah if we form KCL at node B we get VA minus VB divided by R1 yeah right VB minus 0 right this is in positive direction and this is in negative direction VB minus 0, right? This is 0 voltage divided by R2. And then uh, we get this direction. VB minus VC. VB minus VC divided by R3. Uh, maybe we can uh, assume the current flow in this direction. 
and what happened is this dilation oh sorry this is should be negative okay this should be negative right and if we assume the current flow from this dilation the dilation coincide the node would be positive right and how much for this current is would be vc right because it's flow from c to b so it's vc minus vb divided by r3 so we can substitute this term by plus vc minus vb divided by r3 right this will be the same equation right it's the same thing you will get the same equation right because this is minus and this is minus here and this plus is minus okay if you uh, if the chain between c and b you change uh, minus side to positive side okay okay and this is the node b kcl okay we that rearrange this equation we get this is zero right and this va is vs va is vs it's known value here so in this case we know we know vs right because this is the source and we know r1 r2 r3 we don't know only vb and vc right vb and vc in this case and then we form the kcl at node c also at node c so what is the kcl at node c here uh, maybe this is the current flow here is positive right because it's flow into the node here also into the node this is is and this is if flowing out it will be negative we see by r4 right here vb minus vc this current vb minus vc divided by r3 minus this current right we see by r4 plus this current is equal to zero so and we know the value of r3 r4 and is here okay again we don't know vb and vc after we substitute the known value in the equation we just solve for vb and vc right then we solve for vb and vc and after that we know the other variable for example the current flow in each branch can be computed very easy right so in this case the equation become uh, the number of equation become n minus 1 n minus m m is the number of voltage source in the circuit right it is the number number of voltage source in the circuit right because if you have the voltage source you can reduce the number of uh, uh, the, the variable you can reduce the number of uh, equation also okay here you just uh, make the, the common you can uh, you just draw out the common uh, variable draw out VB here right you draw out VB draw out VB draw out VB here you get 1 by r 1 by r 1 1 by r 2 1 by r 3 here right and then 1 by r 3 with vc also and 1 by r 1 vs here yes. just rearrange the equation right it's nothing but just rearrange the equation and you know this value you know this value you know this value this value this value this value, this value. And so for VB and VC, okay. Okay, let's see uh, another one example, okay. Uh, and then I think you may need some break before <laughs> I start mesh current analysis, right? Okay, uh, maybe just uh, uh, take some break and then try to 
uh, manage your memory first, right? Maybe for five minutes <laughs> before uh, go to mesh current analysis. Okay. Okay. Last example. So this example we have four node, right? One we have node one, node two, and node three, right? And what we have voltage source here, we have voltage source. We can so the voltage source will reduce the number of equation because we know the relation between V two and V three because if V three V three minus V two would be 3 volt right because this voltage source is 3 volt will be 3 volt this is the relation between v2 and v3 right we know this relation and then we have node 4 as a reference so this is 0 volt okay and we know r1 r2 r3 r4 and the current 2 ampere yeah throwing out from node 1 okay let's form the equation so we apply KCL to here we apply KCL oh, sorry we apply KCL at the two node okay associate with independent value v1 and v2 we apply here KCL here and KCL here Okay, the current flow here is V1 minus V3, right? V, oh, sorry, V3 minus V1 and V2 minus V1. Uh, in this case, we assume the current flow in this direction is positive, right? We got flow into the node in this direction, right? So V3 minus V1, right? V3 minus V1 by R1 v2 minus v1 by r2 yeah. minus i right we have i what is flowing out it's, uh, it's negative sign equal to zero right and for v2 yeah v1 minus v2 in this case we consider in this direction v1 minus v2 by r2 yeah right and the current flow here in this direction we v2 by r3 right minus v2 by r3 and this current i i uh, small i here minus i is zero okay then we can get i equal to from this equation we can get i equal to v3 minus v1 v3 oh i here v3 minus v1 by r1 right no not from this equation sorry and this is an equation of node number three right node number three we can say that this current and this current i equal to v1 by r4 plus v1 minus uh, v3 by r4 v3 by r4 plus v3 minus v1 by r1 okay this is this three equation, right? This is the three equation here. So rearranging node two equation by substitute the value of i here. The value of i. We use, we substitute i to this uh, value. Okay. And we get this node two. And then we get node one and node 2 here yeah. node 1 and node 2 equation here yeah. and then the relation of we have in this case we have two equation with three unknown it's not possible to solve right but we know the relation between 2 and 3 right v3 and v2 because v3 would be v3 would be v2 plus the wall of this voltage source right v right we know v is 3 volt right here 3 volt v2 v3 is 
V2 plus 3 volt. We know this relation. So we just substitute V3 at V2 plus 3 volt. Yeah, right. And then we we'll get uh, these two equations instead. And then we solve for V1 and V2 here. Okay. So it's become more complex because we don't know the current here, right? But uh, what we can do is we just form the node voltage and we use the relation across the voltage source here. Okay, then if you solve this two equation, you get the answer. Okay, I, I think I don't need to go for the equation uh, solving method, right? Because there's two equations, two unknown. I can uh, leave it to you, I think. Is that right? I am. Am I right? Okay. I think I don't need to to show how to solve these two equation, right? <clears throat> and then uh, uh, we get v one and v two. After we get v one, v two, we get v three, right? V three will add up three voltage from v two here. We get v three, and then we get the current of all branch, right? But we cannot solve this current directly. We need to so this current from these two current, right? From these two current, then we get the current flow to the voltage source. Because the voltage source, we usually don't know how much the current uh, supply from the voltage source because uh, it's the voltage uh, at the terminal will always constant, right? Uh, whatever the current flow in this case for the ideal source here. Okay, I think I will uh, stop here and make some uh, a short break for you. <laughs> okay.